Hello, everybody. My name is James Wilborn, and I am an ETS in Atlanta Public Schools. And today I'm going to show you a tech tip and a trick for you teachers using Zoom. I want to show you how you can freeze your screen during shared screen so that you are able to set up your next slide or set up something else or even work behind the scenes by probably trying to take attendance or something like that. Uh, you can still have your students working on an assignment while in the background you are preparing or doing something else that needs to get done. So what you would do is go to your shared screen and you can choose your desktop or if you have already have another window open, you can click on that as well. I'm going to choose my desktop and I have my assignment up, my math assignment. So I can have this set up right here, these first seven questions. I would tell the students, I need you to answer these seven questions and I would tell them how long they had. And I'm going to press pause share. What pause share does on my end, it turns my uh, bar here that was green. Now it turns it to yellow. So if I show you again, it's green. Now I'm going to click pause share and it's yellow now. So what I can do is now I can go and set up my next uh, visual that I want to show them or my next thing in the lesson I want to show them. So let's say I wanted to do a YouTube video on SEL for responsible decision making. When I was ready, all I have to do is come up and I'll press resume share. I'll come up and press resume share. And now you will see on the student side, they are where I am at now. So I'll show you that again. If I want to go back to that share screen with the math work, let's say I want to click on pause share again. And now I'm going to go back to it. There's something else I need to do. So I'm going to get them back here first. I'm going to press resume share. And I'm going to pause share one more time. And then I can go and do my infinite campus. Or if I needed to, you know, go to my backpack to set up something. I can search for what I'm looking for, you know, things of that nature. So I can go ahead and have everything I need set up for them. And as you see on the student side, they are still looking at the math worksheet. How awesome, how cool is that? So again, I can go right back to my YouTube video and click resume share and they're back on the YouTube video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and you can see how you can use it in your classroom. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.